I'm here with Coach Eric Rudland following the 1-0 loss by AFC Ann Arbor to the Michigan Bucks. Coach, you knew this was going to be a tough match going into it. What did you say to the men beforehand, and what did you say at halftime after you went down that early goal? Beforehand, I mean, obviously from a psychological component, we just talked about obviously being here because of the work the guys the previous season had done. So you know, I think it's important to remember what the qualification process looks like for us. And obviously, you know, we were able to play tonight because we had a good run last season. So tactically, to be fair, the game went kind of as planned. I mean, we wanted to try to keep things really tight for the first, you know, 50-ish, 55 minutes. Um, and then we wanted to see if we could open things up a bit more. So, you know, it was unfortunate that we gave away a goal in the first half, but I thought our response after that was fantastic. I mean, sometimes you give away an early goal in a match like this and, and the floodgates open and guys get a little, a little bit razzled and, you know, it turns out ugly. So I give our men a lot of credit for staying sharp. Uh, and at halftime, we talked uh, about a couple things tactically to change, which we did a fantastic job of. And then, uh, you know, we wanted to be able to bring on Yuri and see if he could help us in the second half. And, you know, he, he obviously helped us change the game when he came up. Absolutely. Looking at, uh, I know we had talked about this beforehand, um, when you look at how many changes we've had in the lineup so far this season, obviously we still don't have all of our guys. What do you think from this moving forward, not necessarily having everybody who's going to be in the lineup, and, and what do you tell some of the guys who are potentially trying to make their, make their case for staying in the starting lineup? With the loss tonight, obviously we have less games, so you know the player rotation changes a little bit. Uh, obviously we'll have some guys that will need to break into the team this Sunday just based on the fact that we've already played two games this week essentially um, with the MPSL match out in Milwaukee and then tonight. So, you know, the message is obviously if you're in the team right now, you got to stay sharp to keep your spot. There's a lot of guys knocking on the door. Um, training's been very competitive this week and we're obviously we're still waiting for a couple more guys to come in as, as next week bleeds through. So. Um, you know, it's exciting on our end to have some options, and I think for the players, it's the environment you want to be in where you have to work day in and day out to, to stay in the team. Finally, looking forward to the next match at home on Mother's Day, what are some of the positives that you take away from this loss that you'll be looking to carry into that match? Uh, I mean, too early to tell positives. I think right now, obviously, it's just trying to regenerate these guys who play tonight, see, see who can go on Sunday, and then, you know, try to see who, can, who we can bring into the team that maybe hasn't played yet or hasn't featured yet uh, for us. So, I mean, obviously we can hang our hat on, you know, giving the Bucks a good game. Obviously we, we came to win, so that's disappointing. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll get together as a group tomorrow and start the process to build towards Sunday. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep.